Hello everyone, my name is Darwin and welcome to my fable speech. Today our fable speech is called The Lion and the Mouse. I hope you enjoy it. A lion lay asleep in the forest, his great head resting on his paws. A timid little mouse came upon him unexpectedly and in her fright and haste to get away, ran across the lion's nose. Roused from his nap, the lion laid his huge paw angrily on the tiny creature to kill her. Spare me, begged the poor mouse. Please, let me go and someday I will surely repay you. The lion was such muse to think that a mouse could ever help him. But he was generous and finally let the mouse go. Some days later, while stalking his prey in the forest, the lion was caught in the toils of a hunter's net. Unable to free himself, he filled the forest with an angry roar. The mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net. Running to one of the great ropes that bound him, she gnawed it until it parted, and soon the lion was free. You laughed when I said, I would repay you someday, said the mouse. Now you see that even a mouse can help a lion. After reading this short fable and memorizing it, it was... It taught me two lessons. It taught me to one, never judge a book by its cover, and two, whenever you do something good, karma will always repay you back. Let's go to the first. Never judge a book by its cover. No matter how strong the person is, no matter how small the person is, tall, big, short, doesn't matter. They always have something within them and you can't really prejudge them and you can't really say anything about them before you actually get to know the person you'll never know if one day you'll ever need them or if one day they'll ever save your life and when it comes to always doing good karma and good karma will repay you back it is always good to do the good thing instead of having to do the bad thing when you do the good thing you'll never know something will come back to you in a good karma or sometimes if you don't even, let's say, you do the wrong action, of course something will come back to you 10 times harder. So it's always good to be very nice to others and to also never to prejudge. This has taught me to not look at anybody a different way. If I see someone who is smaller than me or who is a little taller than me, I should never judge them for who they are or even have a thought of them. Of it, whether they're a basketball player, if they're a nerd, or if they're even into anything like video games. Anyways, I hope this fable had taught you guys a little bit of what I've learned, and um, I actually enjoyed reading this fable. It was very relatable to me, and I hope that everyone else enjoyed it too. Um, this will be the last speech that I'm doing for this class. Uh, I do want to say as like a very PS Professor Strack, thank you so much for even having me in your class. Uh, I really had a great time and I hope that someday I bump into you and um, who knows, or maybe even take another class. But yes, this will be it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and yeah, bye.